So this is the Surface Duo from Microsoft. And boy, I tell you, it is one frustrating product. Microsoft, in its introduction over a year ago, led us to believe about this magical product that was created. Beautiful, beautiful engineering, workmanship, and um, with the software promises that was fluid and just a whole new experience into dual screen multitasking device that was just more than capable. Um, and then Microsoft gave reviewers an early preview into this device. However, there was an embargo. They said, listen, talk about how beautiful it is. And boy, is it beautiful. You touch it, it's glass, it is metal, the hinge, the snap when you close it. Oh, it is a well-built product. But Microsoft also told those people, the reviewers, that, listen, you cannot talk about the software. And now that you have one in your hand, I have one in my hand, I hope you don't because that would have been a waste of money. I promise you. Now that I have one in my hand, based on those beautiful, beautiful images of this device, I see why Microsoft had that embargo on the software. Because the software is just, it's a mixed bag. On one hand, certain things work you know, when you go full screen, th this is not, this is not it. You don't want to look at a website like this, but you can, however, do this and have your email open, right? You can switch screens, you can multitask, you can do a lot of things with two screens that are cohesive yet separate, depending on your choice usage, right? However, when you start to get into working and multitasking, you begin to see last year's hardware limitations that Microsoft had a whole year to fix with the software optimization to make this product come to life for real. One thing it does is underwhelm you. You were excited with the product demonstration that Microsoft brilliantly gave us. It was a commercial, right? That's what you do when you're trying to sell a product. You give us the best of what you have to until we get it in our hands. But this is disheartening because Microsoft just led us to believe that this product that was half-baked and they knew because they deliberately hushed reviewers not to talk about the software experience because they knew that it was just lacking in that department. It is quite disappointing, quite disheartening because this, pro this product is beautiful. This phone or whatever you want to call it, it does everything was the impression. However, you get into it like a Lamborghini, but it can only go 50 miles an hour. It's not doing what Microsoft led us to believe. It is just not ready. They had a whole year to release this product. They had a whole year to, to refine, to optimize the software, to make it work with the hardware, but Instagram, for instance, it's not, Instagram is not ready. I would think some of these, and then when you are not using, you cannot reach the corners when you are one handing this item, which is probably what you're going to be doing mostly, but when you want to go multitask on dual screens, you have that option, but for the most part, you're probably going to be here 
and reachability because of this aspect ratio is just unfortunate. Had it been a little thinner, but long, even at this length, without this huge bezels, that would help. The camera is abysmal. I don't ever want to talk about that. It's just a software experience. It's, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. It doesn't deliver. So we have the cam. I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but. Again, so that took two try. <sighs> it is unfortunate. Microsoft deceived us. They really did. They told reviewers, be quiet. Don't talk about the software because we know it's horrible. We know it's horrible. They, when I, upon, re upon my receipt of this phone, I was met with a software update, which I thought, you know, would fix everything. It still, it still doesn't. Six gigs of RAM is not capable of addressing the multitasking powerhouse that this is supposed to be. Because once you open a couple of applications and you start using, guess what? It starts to show it's limitation. It starts to struggle. Things begin to lag. The pen situation begins to show that it's not capable or it's not optimized. Apple can work with very little hardware because of software optimization. Microsoft built a beautiful hardware but the software is lacking. It is lacking. And it's quite disheartening for them to say, we want $1,500, $1,400 for this product. This should be $799 at best. And even then, you want your, I, you want it to work, to, to command basic tasks. The concept is beautiful. The execution is awful. And it's quite disheartening. I have a Surface, was it, what is it called? A Surface Pro X. And it's the same thing. So it just limits your usage for something that's supposed to be liberating in the multitasking world, this is not it. Not at this price. And why would Microsoft do that? Why? The excitement in selling this product and the software demonstration was great, but I hope more software updates improves the performance of the Surface Duo. However, you cannot purchase a product based on software update promises. If it's not working today, you shouldn't get it today. Especially at $14.99, $13.99. Beautiful product. Beautiful product. However, not capable. It's a Lamborghini that can only go 50 miles an hour. You are not wild at all. You look at the car, my goodness, gorgeous. However, you are not wild at the performance. You get in into drive and you're only going 50 miles an hour and you say to yourself, this is it? Disappointment. That's what this is. The Surface Dwarf the Surface Duo. Perhaps the Surface Duo 2 would be more refined, but the software experience in this is just plain abysmal.
especially coming from a a giant like Microsoft. That's been my a couple of days experience with the Surface Duo. If it improves, I will share. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one with something different. Ciao. Keep it, keep it.